Welcome to Struct and Engineering. Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking military development that's making headlines around the world. Israel's latest weapon in the fight against Hamas tunnels, the sponge bomb. But what exactly is it? And how does it work? Stay tuned as we unravel the mystery of this innovative technology. The Israel Defense Forces, or IDF, have been facing a daunting challenge navigating and neutralizing the intricate network of tunnels used by Hamas militants. These tunnels, often referred to as the Gaza Metro, stretch for hundreds of miles and are riddled with traps. This novel device, the sponge bomb, is not your typical explosive. It contains no traditional explosives but is designed to seal off gaps or tunnel entrances from which fighters may emerge. So, how does it work? The sponge bomb consists of chemical compounds based around a liquid emulsion. When deployed, it swiftly expands and hardens, effectively sealing the tunnel and trapping any hidden fighters inside. Israeli soldiers have been rigorously trained to handle these devices at their mini Gaza, a mock up of the underground tunnel system at the Urban Warfare Training Center in the Negev Desert. The bombs feature a barrier that keeps two volatile liquids separate. Once this barrier is removed, the liquids combine and immediately react. In a real-world scenario, the IDF could deploy these sponge bombs to negotiate Hamas labyrinthine tunnel system. The device would leave Hamas fighters with no escape and allow Israeli commandos to secure safe routes while searching for hostages. The sponge bomb represents a significant advancement in military technology, offering a non-lethal yet highly effective solution to a complex problem. As tensions continue, the world watches to see how this new tool will impact the ongoing conflict. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into new and emerging technology and global events not just limited to AI and robotics. See you in the next video.